still ahead this morning. He rode the city's subways for days on end and then biked the entire length of the Great Wall of China. We'll ask Kevin Foster what gives with First to Break. Kevin Foster set a world's record last year for spending most time underground riding the subways on only one token. Well, he's re just returned from his latest feat, bicycling the Great Wall of China. Well, why did he do it? And what's up next? He's here to tell us. That is a, uh, a home video taken of uh, Kevin on his bicycle. We apologize for the, the quality of that because it uh, was taken over there and uh, suffered apparently in the uh, uh, travel coming over to this country. Anyway, Kevin is here. And welcome to Good Day New York, Kev. Oh, why? Thanks, Jim. Why, first of all? <laughs> well, I didn't want to do something like this. Yeah, no, tell, I, tell us, first of all, some of the things that you encountered along the Great Wall. What Some of the difficulties. Uh, okay, so let's start out with 130 degree heat in the Gobi Desert. And then dust storms, rainstorms, uh, a hailstorm. I got to see a village when I got caught in a flash flood and went through it. Uh, fell through the wall a couple of times, cracked a rib. Uh, heat stroke, uh, dehydration, so that was so some of the stuff. I, my next question is one word, why? Okay. Why? Why? Because, well actually it happened 22 years ago uh, when I was a kid I was electrocuted and I received 65,000 volts, about 30 amps, and I fell 30 feet off the uh, live tension wire. And uh, from there the doctor said I'd never talk, I'd never walk again, never, you know, function properly. <laughs> And uh, it took me four years of therapy to get through that. And then by 1972, Nixon went to China with uh, Mao. And we had to see it as a homework assignment. And the teacher basically said, well, what did you get out of it, class? And I said, I would love to take a bike and, and cycle the Great Wall. And they all thought I was nuts. And I wrote to Nixon and Mao and so on and so forth through the last 18 years until finally the Chinese government uh, gave me permission to become the first person to ride on top of it. You wrote to Mao? Yeah. Did you get any answer? No, apparently he, uh, he thought I was just a, a foolish uh, young American. But when, when China opened up then, uh, they took a different stance, did they? Yeah, they did. Uh, it was, well, it was really off and on that it, uh, that it happened. And uh, by 1986, I had made some friends at National Geographic, which helped me obtain the uh, invitation. What, what's happened with the subway now? You were in the subway for 85 hours? Yeah, that was, uh, that was an experience uh, unto itself. Uh, I got to see things that most people will probably never see in their lifetimes riding on there. Like what? Like what? Like, um, it, you know, basically the homeless, uh, I got to understand a lot of them more, a lot of why they talk to themselves and what they do. Uh, I found myself starting to talk to myself only because I had no other voice, no other person to talk to after being down there for so long. Uh, I found that it wasn't food that I needed but more fluids because it, when you're down there it gets so hot and uh, you do dehydrate. You did it in the summertime? No, I did it in October. It was this time last year as a matter of fact when it was the 85th anniversary. So that's why I spent 85 hours on it and that gave me the record and from there uh, uh, Air China came in and said, you know, we'd like to help you and we'd like to be a part of your China expedition and, and flew me and my photographer out there. And that's how I got to do the China trip because of the subway ride. And what's up next? Uh, at the end of April, I'm scheduled to head for England to be the first to cycle across the English Channel. How do you cycle across on the Channel? A, on a water bike. Red, white and blue that's being built for me right now. You, you wear red, white, and blue when you're doing these things. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's my thing. I, I, love, uh, I, I do love the colors, not being overly patriotic, but I do love the colors of red, white, and blue, stars and stripes. I do have my own uniform. Uh, my own bike is red, white, and blue, things like that. It kind of distinguishes me from the rest of the crowd. And of course, a lot of the kids know me as Captain America now, and that's how they go for that. All right, Captain, thank you for joining us this morning, and good All luck right, uh, with crossing the channel. Uh, thanks a lot. We're going to take a short break right now. And